sixth episode of the fish tank. Hello and welcome to episode 9 of the fish tank. Hello and welcome to episode 15 of the fish tank. Hello and welcome to episode 19 of the fish tank. Hello and welcome to the first ever fish tank. Oh, oh sorry, start. It's time for Apology of the Week. So this week must go to uh, Bill Clinton, the former president of the USA and uh, owner of a card shop. He, uh, he asked me to point out that uh, he did not have sexual relations with that woman. And uh, this week I'd like to apologise if uh, any business has been caused due to the shirt that I'm wearing today. Look at this. Nice and bright, isn't it? Last week I launched my premium rate telephone company. I had a lot of complaints about the price of it, so I'd like to say, if you are not the bill payer, do ring in because it costs you nothing. Um, what's been happening this week was a barbecue uh, the other week, and we had uh, put a few sausages on the barbecue. Got some sausages, there's a picture of Anthony Warhol Thompson on the front of the sausages, holding a fork. And he said, prick with a fork. I also learned the other day how to kill someone using my little finger. I can now effectively kill someone using my little finger. I use it to pull the trigger on a Kalashnikov AK-47. Later on, I was watching Countdown and I got around. It's like seven months, but it's not a bad word to get. Some food today, I had uh, Korean meatballs, they were definitely the dog's bollocks. Uh, enjoyed those quite a bit. I, to, I went to go and book a holiday the other day, and I walked in, said to the travel agent, said, uh, I want to book a holiday. He said, where do you want to go? I noticed on the wall there was a picture of Ibiza, so I said I'd uh, quite like to go on that. Just pin me up on the wall. Can you believe it? Just very, very cheeky. So I, uh, I said, no, no, I'm not, not too keen now on uh, going to Ibiza. I said, uh, I'd like to go to France. I said, how do you want to get there? I said, uh, by train. I said, you're a star. I said, well, I've done the fish tank. Eight episodes of the fish tank. Well, officially say I'm actually a star. So when she says you're a star, I think she's been a bit, uh, a bit excessive. Well, I went shopping the other day, actually. Uh, today, in fact, uh, to go and buy a new pair of trousers was uh, an interesting experience, I wasn't really sure what trouser size it was, so I had to uh, ask someone on the desk what size trousers I should get, and she said, do you know your inside leg? I said, I know it better than anyone else does. And Neil Warnock has since uh, resigned his post as Sheffield United manager. I think, uh, I think the argument was that the board of directors had said to him, uh, can you keep us up in the Premiership for three seasons? And he said, I've kept you up for three seasons, I've kept you there for autumn, winter and spring. But apparently that wasn't good enough, so uh, it was forced him to resign. And, so. There you go. So anyway, uh, it's time for the celeb ometer and which celebs can I get on the show? I would try and get Terry Wogan to appear on the show and uh, we did negotiate Jimbo Shugos, rang him up, but uh, it took quite a while for us to convince Terry Wogan that I hadn't won Eurovision because he got a bit confused with that if you, if you remember, he announced the wrong person. Uh, on last week's show we asked for David Blunkett to perhaps appear on the celeb ometer uh, We rang him up and requested a meeting before he could appear. Uh, he said he couldn't see us and can't see us anytime soon, so he probably won't be able to appear in the fish tank. I am very close apparently to getting Carlos Tevez to appear on the show because he doesn't need any form of legitimate contract to appear on the show. You don't have to do any form of proper paperwork for him, so uh, he could be a shoo-in to appear soon. So it's uh, time for the headline, which says uh, Blind woman gets new kidney from dad she hasn't seen in years. Which is uh, probably because she's blind. And headline is Man found dead in graveyard. I'm not sure how that constitutes sort of actual headline material. It's a man in River Thames had drink problem. So it must be a serious drink problem if you've got to jump in the River Thames and have a, uh, a quick squig. It's uh, also time for quote of the week. And he said, one of the reasons Arnold Palmer is playing so well is that before each tea shop, his wife takes out his balls and gives them a kiss. And uh, this week's quotation comes from Mr. Ted Walsh, who is apparently a horse racing commentator. And referring to a horse, he said, This is a lovely horse. I once rode her mother. I live with news that apparently a man is drowned in a bowl of muesli. Apparently it was taken under by a strong current. See you next week. Yeah, the fish tank itself, the actual glass fish tank, obviously evolved from you know probably a fish pond first, and then onto a fish bowl. And the fish tank is probably a bit better because you know it probably replicates something an outside experience for the fish because you've got like a miniature castle there for it and a variety of things to keep the fish entertained when it's in a tank.